Hi everybody, it's Tessa from Meyer Hatchery. Today I'm going to be vaccinating some of my day-old chicks that just hatched. Now this is my first time mixing and administrating the Merix vaccine. So bear with me, I'm going to be reading instructions as we go along. You can do this at home. When you receive your stuff um, from the hatchery with all of the things that you need, everything is included to mix the vaccine. But the things that you're going to need to administer them, you do have to buy separately. So let's start by mixing the vaccine for the first time. When you get your vaccine from the hatchery, um, it's going to come in a chilled cooler if you're getting it through the mail. So it's coming with an ice pack because it's really important that this, which is the actual medicine, stays uh, chilled before use or else it's ineffective. So the second that you get at home, it needs to go in the refrigerator if you're not using it right away. But inside the package, you're gonna get the actual medication. You'll receive one syringe and that's for um, moving the vaccine from one bottle to the other. This one's not for administering to the chicks. And then it also comes with the dilutant, which is this bottle here. It has the paper instructions that come from the manufacturer as well, which are actually really detailed. Um, so have those out with you when you're doing it. So let's get started. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to clean off the top of both vials. Um, I'm using just some uh, liquid alcohol. I'm using it on uh, some paper towel here because I didn't have any cotton swabs. So I'm gonna clean the top of this vial and I'm gonna clean the top of this little one. Now this vaccine has a tab on top with a metal piece that does have to be removed. So I'm gonna take that off first, set it to the side, Ooh, and then pop off the cap. And now I have a metal, or not metal, a rubber piece on there that I'm gonna clean so that I'm sure there's nothing on the outside before I inject. Next, I'm gonna take the needle that comes with the package, remove the cap, plungers all the way down. I am going to take some of this dilutant. So I'm gonna push the needle in through here. Whoa, it's tricky. <laughs> I've never done this before. So I'm gonna fill this. Oh my goodness, I feel like a doctor. All right, I'm gonna fill this all the way full. Take it out. Now I'm gonna put this, the dilutant, inside here. So that on the top of this lid, there's a little circle. I'm gonna puncture through there and then I'm gonna fill this vial with the dilutant. Now, this part I'm really a little unsure of because it should start disintegrating, which it is, but in the instructions it tells you to then, with the needle inside, pull back with and fill it with air. So we're gonna try to break the seal. See, and now it's hard for me to do this, which is funny, so it's it's resisting. And then um, it says to push the air back in. So I've done that. So now the seal is broken. And now I'm gonna tip this, make sure all of it has dissolved, which it looks like it has. I'm gonna tip it back. I'm going to withdraw the vaccine. There it goes. I did it. Okay. So now I've got all of the liquid from inside this little vial in my needle. I'm going to gently remove that. Oh, perfect. Now I'm going to put it back into the dilutant. that right down in there. Okay, I'm just gonna check this bottle here and make sure I got everything. There's a tiny bit in there and I'm gonna grab it because like I said, this is my first time so I don't wanna make any mistakes. So I'm just gonna put that in there just a little bit and see if I can grab what's left. Yep, it looks like there was about two cc's in there and I don't wanna miss that because we want all the vaccine that we can. So now I'm gonna put this back into here. Get all of it in there remove my needle and give it a shake. Now, this is our Merrick vaccine. So there's enough in this bottle to vaccinate a thousand chickens. 
I wish I had that many, but today I definitely don't. I just have nine chickens that are gonna be vaccinated. So it will go to waste. You can't keep it after it's um, been mixed. And I only have about an hour before it expires. So I'm gonna go grab the babies and we're gonna start to vaccinate. All right, it's time to get started. I am not gonna lie, I am a little bit nervous. I did practice with one, don't tell anybody. So um, the first thing that you need to do when you have your chicks is you need to make sure that you don't double vaccinate. So we've got two baskets set up here, one with chicks who have not received their vaccination yet and one who have. Um, we're gonna clean the back of the neck with some alcohol first. So I'm gonna get some right on the back of her neck. Oh, little baby. And you can do this on your own if you feel confident, but I have a helper today because I've never done it before. Just to note, you will be vaccinating your chicks with 0.2 cc's of vaccine. Pinch the skin on the back of her neck and then I'm going to apply the vaccine. Um, so I'm gonna take the needle, put it in, tip it upside down. And these are just diabetic needles that I got from the local big box store pharmacy. You did have to buy the whole box, but now I have enough needles for every chicken I ever hatch for the rest of my life. So now I am going to pinch the skin at the back of her neck. And when you apply the alcohol, it kind of um, takes away some of that fluff so it's easier to see. And then I'm just going to, oh, I'm so sorry, little one. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a little poke. She's having a little cry. Oh, sweet girl. All right, and then we're done. And she goes into that basket. And then I know that I'm all done with her and she'll dry off. And I wanna do this as quickly as possible so that I can make sure they get back under the heat lamp because these babies are only one day old. It's important that it only gets done right after they hatch. And that way we're able to watch them and make sure that they're tolerating everything okay and that they get dried up. So I'm gonna go ahead and vaccinate the rest of my chicks. If you guys have any questions at all, let us know. We're available every day by chat, email, or phone. Or check out some of our other YouTube videos so that you can take care of some of this stuff for your flock right in your own home. Have a great day, everybody.